welcome to savvy it solutions uh, now we are making video on if else statement in the previous video we learned about simple if and simple if in theoretically and practically we are taking number of examples to understand better better understanding of this uh, better understanding of better understanding okay so now we are making video on if else okay here we are discussing some important parts like so already every time we are explaining that so control structures under these control structures conditional control structures under these decision making or branching under this we have simple if if else nested if else and finally else if ladder already we discussed simple if now we are learning if else statement okay so here uh, i am also mentioned the syntax of the if else if this condition is true then statements 1 and statements 3 are executed if this condition is false then statement 2 and statements 3 are executed that is the meaning of syntax now the condition may be simple or complex okay simple means a greater than b only we need to check one condition complex means a greater than b and a greater than c is a little bit complex if you take more number of relational operators used automatically it will become a complex now the second important point is if the number of statements are one option to use the brackets if the number of statements are more than one mandatory to use the brackets that is what exactly we need to know so now we are moving to flow chart so while coming to the flow chart condition if yes statements 1 if no statements 2 whatever may be statements 3 followed by this means if this is true statements 1 and statements 3 are executed if this is false then statements 2 and statements 3 are executed that is the way we are representing this can be also represented with in condition if yes statements 1 if no statements 2 statements 3 and so on we can also represent in this way both are correct but according to your paper constraint or based on this only the changes are made okay now we are moving to learn few more programs few more program examples to understand the if else statement here write a c program to find the greatest of two numbers when this question arises we need two variables they are a and b okay using scan of function we need to give the input okay and that is what exactly in the next step what we need to do is we need to check the condition if a greater than b okay so print f percentage d is greatest a else here no need to check the condition similar to simply if but here directly we need to apply else and we need to print the value percentage d is greatest b 
that's is very very simple to compute it so similarly the next one write a c program to check the given air is leap air or not so here we need to take one variable the variable name is y y indicates an air it is of type integer okay now so leap air means every four years it occurs and it consists of 366 days and non leap year it is 365 how many to find leap year y mod 4 is equal to is equal to 0 automatically it leap year y mod 4 not equal to 0 it is non leap year okay so according to this we need to check if y mod 4 is equal to is equal to 0 print f percentage d is leap year and y else print f percentage d is non leap year y that is what exactly the second program So now moving to the third program, write a C program to check the given number is even number or odd number. Here also we need to read only one value that is n. So we need to check it. n mod two is equal to is equal to zero. Then it is even. If n mod two not equal to zero is odd. Okay. According to this, if n mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 we need to print f percentage d is even and n else print f percentage d is odd n that's it very very simple to us so write a c program to check the second number is factor of first number or not So here we need to take two numbers. They are a and b. So a mod b is equal to is equal to zero. It is a factor. Okay. A mod b not equal to zero. Not a factor. That is what exactly we are making into account. So here, if a mod b is equal to is equal to zero, print f. Percentage d is factor of percentage d b comma a. Else, print f percentage d is not a factor of percentage d b comma a. This is what exactly the meaning of this. So the next one is write a C program to check the given e number is positive number or not. So we need to take n is the number. When n is greater than equal to zero, the number is positive number. If n is less than zero, it is negative number. So based on this information, if n is greater than equal to zero, we need to print. Percentage d is positive number n, and else print f percentage d is negative number n. Okay, so this is what exactly the the portion of. Uh, if else so apart from this i need to tell one thing in the next video we need to learn in the practical way to understand better and we need to do more in this okay thank you